بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today reminder this is Gabriel Al-Romani Brothers and sisters there is a disease in the Ummah there is a huge issue that we are suffering from there is a big epidemic that is hitting the youth and that is the epidemic of pornography Brothers and sisters all you who believe it's not just you know the non-Muslims it's the Muslims it's not just the non-practicing Muslims it's the practicing Muslims SubhanAllah I was studying and listening and going doing through some research and I found a research a brother that actually took yani, some interviews and samples people who are going and frequenting the masjid five day five times a day people who are actually praying people who are doing da'wah who consider themselves that they're involved in the masjid and so on these people some people are watching pornography husbands wives are watching pornography children youth students students of knowledge are touched by this disease subhanallah it's something that has really hit the um heart I was also doing some research the top countries by name that are watching pornography or searching for the word sex and a lot of them came to be Muslim I'm not gonna name those countries but you can do, do a little research and you find that yourself on Google uh, based on the statistics of Google the search engine so subhanallah I want to share with you two stories that have really hit me really hard subhanallah and you know this is something that is affecting you know it's splitting families it's destroying lives of people people are losing their jobs and not just that people are losing their deen you are watching something that is haram you're watching uh, some images some videos that subhanallah are forbidden and not just that it causes you to lose your deen or subhanallah with, as if there will, there will be something little but it's actually changing your psychology the way you think about sex the way you think about the husband wife relationship the way you see the opposite gender in reality it's really rampant it's called it's changing a paradigm shift in the terms of uh, homosexuality and lesbianism so I want to share with you two stories based on this story number one real story and I'm sure a lot of the da'is and shiuch can justify and can confirm this that they actually themselves from what I've seen reading the message that they themselves received uh, this message or their this person was asking advice from them in the end uh, this is uh, a person who a father the father of a young daughter married happily married he says in his in his email to Sheikh Yasser Qadi and uh, Ibrahim, Yahya Ibrahim and other scholars he says that I am a, a husband I'm happily married I have a beautiful wife and a beautiful child and he said, but I, I was addicted to pornography to the point that it didn't matter what people are telling me. People told me, the shiuch, the brothers I mentioned, were telling him to fear Allah, to do this, be careful, Allah's watching and so on. And I just didn't care anymore. You know, there's a difference, subhanAllah. Some people, they're into this, they're suffering, they're fighting with it, they're making toba, and some people just don't care anymore. So this person was of the uh, second group. He didn't care anymore. He, didn't, he just wanted to do it, just wanted to watch it. Uh, you know, and obviously this is associated also with masturbation, watching pornography. So he just wanted to do that, this act. And he said that my daughter came to me one day and she just wanted to play with me. She kept bugging me, bugging me. But I was watching pornography. I kept, and subhanAllah, he's watching his daughters there. And he said, I kept going, I kept going, I kept, kept pushing and go, go, play, go, play. He said, after some time, it was very quiet. Then I turned around and I saw my daughter laying on the floor. And as I go, I went to her, I thought she's playing. And I picked her up and she wasn't breathing. And I rushed her to the hospital and the doctors pronounced her dead, saying that she choked on a small piece or a toy or something that she swallowed. And he said, I just buried after writing you and before writing you this email, talking to the scholars, the dais, he said, I just buried my daughter. And I just wanted to share with you. This person was depressed. This person was in, 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 in just in pain. So he just lost his daughter right now because he didn't pay attention to her because he was busy with pornography. Brothers and sisters, this disease, this phenomenon is going to touch every single one of us. It's going to touch our family. It's going to touch our ummah. It's going to cause problems in our deen. Look at this brother, what happened to him. This brother is writing and he's probably crying, probably beating himself in the head for what he has done, for leaving his daughter, you know, to swallow that object and die, subhanAllah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he, of course, and he, these are sins, these are personal sins, but in the end, it will come to hunt us. One way or the other, it will be a test upon us. Alhamdulillah, inshallah, that little baby is in Jannah, inshallah, without any issues and any problems, alhamdulillah. But this brother has to live with this thought in his mind that my daughter died because I didn't pay attention to her because I was watching pornography. What, how will he face his wife? What will he tell his wife? What would he tell his wife, his family, his people when they ask him, what happened to your daughter? And imagine that, compare that embarrassment 
two standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day of judgment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked me, Ya Ahmed, Ya Muhammad, Ya Aisha, Ya Maryam, what did you watch? Where were your eyes? SubhanAllah. The second story I want to tell you is the story, again, it happened, and if I heard it from a friend of mine who was you know, the friend of this person who himself said the story. He said that I was also watching pornography, and one day, as I'm watching at night, when everyone's sleeping, no one's, you know, my daughter came to me, a little girl, three years old or so, you know, very young, came to me, and she saw me watching it. And I was so embarrassed. And I looked at her, and she said, Ya Baba, Oh Father, Ittaqillah, Fear Allah. Subhanallah, a little three-year-old is telling her father, Fear Allah. He said, I felt so embarrassed. I never ever, not just because it's my daughter, but because she used those words, fear Allah. He said, I never return to pornography again. Brothers and sisters, this is not just something that we can solve in five minutes. This is not something that I can just tell you here over five minutes. Or I've done with I've dealt with so many people, so many brothers. I want to share just before I leave you. Uh, something that a brother told me to tell you, a message uh, to the people, to the viewers. This is a brother who is in da'wah. This is a brother who is, yani, he's shy, he doesn't want to reveal his name. But he said, please share this story with the people so people may understand this agony that he's going through, this, this fight that he's going through. This is a person who's making tawbah every day because he is caught in pride. He's actually finally converted to Islam. He is a new Muslim. And he is doing da'wah. Yani, if, you, if you would see this person, you wouldn't know. He's in the masjid, he's praying, this and that. He's a person who is calling to Allah. Allah. But he says, I'm suffering from this. He's like, I keep going back and back and over and over, but I keep making tawbah and I keep fighting. And I mean, this guy is like psychologically disturbed because of this. He's fighting. He says this, he has anxiety, his, pain, his chest is paining and so on. He said, I mean, he cannot deal with this. He somehow finds himself going back over and over to it. After Ramadan fasting, this and that, somehow he falls back. He goes for Umrah, he goes, falls back. This, subhanAllah. So I talked to, you know, I was, I was like, I was shocked. I was shocked. This is a dad, this is a person who's calling people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, please share this story that it's not just the normal people. It's not just any person here. It's affecting the dais, sometimes the scholars, sometimes the people of knowledge. These are people who are suffering from these huge from. So brothers and sisters, I know that, you know, you might see, well, it's bigger than this. Yes, it is bigger. It requires a lot of different uh, elements to be tackled from. This issue cannot be solved just here, you know, there's many facets, to it, there's many elements to this equation. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a verse in the Quran. That's the beginning. Brothers and sisters, if we don't give that look to the opposite sex, we don't give that look to that forbidden uh, thing, that look is not going to turn into idea, an idea. That idea is not going to materialize into a desire. That desire is not going to materialize into a plan. That plan is not going to materialize into action. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Nur, um, in verse 30, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قل للمؤمنين يغض من أبصارهم ويحفظوا فروجهم ذلك أسكالهم إن الله خبير بما يصنعون إن الله خبير بما يصنعون Say to the believing man that they must lower their gaze and guard their private parts. It is more decent for them. Surely Allah is all aware of what they do. Brothers and sisters, this is the beginning. Lower the case. It's hard. Yes, it's a fight. Yes, as I said at the beginning, there's two different groups. The one group is the group that basically says, uh, you know, forget, you know, I'm, uh, forget about it. Uh, you know, I'm just going to keep doing it. I can't do anything about it. I don't want to make toba. And the other group is the group that says, Astaghfirullah, keeps fighting, keeps fasting, keeps giving sadaqah, keeps fighting against this desire. Inshallah, they'll be amongst the successful. Brothers and sisters, this is your brother Gabriel Ar-Romani for the daily reminder. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.